hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to learn the history of the basis of ghana please like and subscribe to my youtube channel kwame kuma was born on 21st september 1909 was a ghanaian politician political theorist and revolutionary he was the first president of ghana he led the good coast which was now ghana to independence from the British in 1957. Kwame Nkrumah died on 27th April 1972. Yemanuel Odakwe Obechebilamte. He was born on 27th April 1902. He was a political activist. Yemanuel Odakwe Obechebilamte was one of the and leaders of the United Good Coast Convention into bracket UGCC known as the Big Six. Also, the founding father of Ghana. He died on 29th January 1963. Williams Ofori Atta. He was born on 10th October 1910. He was a lawyer and a politician. He was popularly called Pawili. He was one of the founding members and the leaders of the United Good Coast Convention into brackets UGCC, one of the founding fathers of Ghana. He died on 14th July 1988. Joseph Boachi Dankwa, which we all know by his name, J.B. Dankwa. He was born on 18th December 1895. J.B. Dankwa was a Ghanaian politician, scholar, and a lawyer. He was one of the founders and leaders of the United Good Coast Convention, into brackets UGCC. Also, one of the founding fathers of Ghana. He died on 4 February 1965. Dr. Ebenezer Ekunwaji, he was born on 17 June 1916. He was a Ghanaian statesman, politician, lawyer, and a journalist. He was a founding member and a leader of the United Good Coast Convention, UGCC. He died on 14th January. 2002. Edward Ekufu Adu. He was born on 26 June 1906. He was a Ghanaian politician and a lawyer. He was one of the founding fathers of Ghana. He was a member of the United Good Coast Convention, which was known as the Big Six. He died on 17 July 1979. In 1948, our good code veterans, World War II, have returned home. They have only received a third of the compensation for sacrificing their lives. The British colony at that time said they would not pay them what was promised them. These men decided to write a petition to the British governor so that their matter would be heard and done. The veterans marched peacefully to the governor castle, which was Christenburg Castle now known as Osu Castle, to hand over their petition to the governor. The governor refused to see them. He sent British soldiers to block them in front of the castle road. After the confrontation, a rout broke out and three of the World War II veterans were killed. Their names are Sergeant Colonel Frederick Ajiti, Private Odate Lamte, and Copra Atipo. Some believe that it was the Bixis who were behind it or who influenced them to write the petition and march to the governor's castle. They were detained by the colonial authorities in 1948 following the disturbance that led to the killing of the three World War II veterans. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.